We present to your attention an educational game for the young adventurers, real explorers of our planet. The Zurgata board game offers two adventures coming in the same box. The game set includes a two-sided game board, four ship cards, 24 animal counters and four miniature ship models with colored sails. Red, yellow, violet and white. The ship models are as close to real life as possible, prefabricated from parts made from durable ABS plastic. Little captains will definitely enjoy traveling through the map using the plastic models of real sailing ships. For quintons with the world of tabletop games, we recommend you to start with Dangerous Sailing Race, which is the game that allows you to introduce a kid to the throw and move principle. We teach a kid to make moves from up and throws of the dice. We roll the dice and count the hexes to move the ship model forward. Getting to the reefs in the map means that the player loses one turn. A shark means a dangerous place, causing the player to lose two turns. Your rivals in the map may shoot to cause your obstacles. On your way you may encounter the most scary monster, the octopus, which can send your ship many hexes back. You have to draw the kid's attention to the possibility to bypass the monster. Besides, on your way you can count on support from forts. Please be advised that kids while playing will be able to learn about continents of our planet and their dwellers. Before the start of the game, place the animal counters in the spots provided for them. The number of counters should equal to the number of players. The players choose their ship models and their home port and take the appropriate ship card. The players can draw the right to choose the ship and the port by rolling the dice. Now the game is ready to start. Each player aims to collect a zoo, a collection of six different animals, on its ship. The captains will make a real round the world journey, and each picked up animal will just add gusted to the game. The first player to take all animals to its home port will be the winner in the zoo regatta. Now the rules for moves. The advantage of the game is the possibility to freely choose your itinerary. The player may move in any direction to pick up any animal. The players use their points shown on the dice to move through hexes. It is necessary to move forward the same number of hexes as shown on the dice. You should think well over your moves, especially if extra moves are left. The player has to work out the optimal row to collect the desired animal and yet keep the value of the dice roll. Please remember, if you play with the youngest ones, it is not necessary to use all points. Let them stop where they feel right. The game holds in store for elder players a number of intriguing elements of the game mechanics. The arrows in the map show the water currents and you can sail faster using them. The current adds one point to the value on the dice. The whirlpools are a fast but risky way to move your ship. If the player ends up on the whirlpool hexa, it should roll the dice again and the value on the dice will show the number of the whirlpool to which the ship is taken. The most exciting feature in the game is shooting. Each ship is allowed to make only two shots, so use them wisely. To make a shot, a player sails up to the hexa where the rivaling ship is located and throws the dice. The value on the dice indicates the cabin on the rival's ship, which is hit by the shot. If the cabin under this number contains an animal, the animal will be returned by the current to its natural habitat and the rival will have to go back for it again. If the cabin is empty, it means the player has missed the aim. Shooting gives the players a chance to turn the tide of the game, which adds dynamics and keeps the players in suspense till the very end of the game. We wish you enjoyable and exciting games.